Welcome back to the channel. What's up guys? Mike Gray here. Today we're going to be doing a gun review. I know y'all are excited about that because it's been a while. <clears throat> Make sure you check out that Hollister Cologne video. I'll talk more about it at the end of this. Let's jump into this. Today we're going to be talking about this uh, late 60s, early 70s, 410. See how small that barrel is considered to a 20 or a 12 gauge. Um, Savage. Um, Springfield Savage Arms. Uh, Corporation Model 95, um, Westfield, Massachusetts. It does do two and a half and three inch shells. If anyone has one of these and are wondering, it does say on the barrel. I don't know much about this gun because this is not my gun. Uh, this is my father-in-law's gun, but it's a nice little shotgun. Shoots one. Uh, kind of weird because it, if, if most people would think this is a rifle, but it's not. This is actually a shotgun but it does have the bolt like the rifle would have. Not a very expensive gun at the time of coming out, production-wise. Um, if you watched my 20 gauge um, Savage shotgun video, which you haven't, you need to check that out. That actually was produced in China because um, Savage Arms is now produced in China, but they distribute in America, if I'm correct. If I'm wrong, someone comment down below and let me know. But yeah, this is it. Let's uh, zoom in and let's get let's get to talking about this thing. It shoots one of these bad boys. This is a Winchester X, Super X, number six shot. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna load in there and show you, but pretty much all you do is you have this back and you take your shell and you stick it in there, slide your bolt forward. And that's pretty much the gist of that. Um, things about this gun. Um, so, it has a safety on it. But the safety really doesn't function no more. It's just gotten older. But it has this bridge lock as well. Which I guess kind of serves as a safety. Um, when you slide it forward, it won't go down. This is back. It's now down. It's now ready to fire. Um, it does have like a little spring when you push the, the bolt down. If you can see this, it actually locks down a little bit. And when you pull it up, you can see that safety just kind of slide back a little bit. Cool little gun though, man. I, it really just has that old feel. It looks like an old, like a old hunting rifle or something, but it's not a hunting rifle. It's definitely a shotgun. So, um, you can find these. I actually found some of these online for pretty cheap. These guns, so if you just want like a first time hunting rifle for somebody, you know, or anything, these are definitely gonna be it. But this is it, this is the Springfield 410. We will be shooting this um, in future videos. I'm gonna talk about that here in a minute, actually. Let's let's uh, zoom out and I'll talk more about the shooting. Video. And I know that was not a very detailed uh, review, but I really don't have much info on the gun from what just what me and my father-in-law know about it and it's not it's it's a really you know no thrills kind of gun it's just, it's just to load the shell in there pop it shoot it i mean there's there's nothing else besides actually seeing us shoot it that would uh be intriguing so i know it was kind of short but just like my 20 gauge uh there's just not much you can say you know unless you're doing some shooting with the gun uh most guns are pretty much all built the same. There's usually a base gun and people model off that one and you know that's how it goes. But on this on this shotgun, you can find them on Gun Broker or um, usually online for under three. I mean 100, 300. I, I would I'd honestly try to keep it under two. This gun has a lot of sentimental value and a lot of um, uh, value to my father-in-law. And, uh, but really a cool gun. Um, hopefully get to shoot. I have not actually shot this gun yet because it went, the firing pin had a little an issue. And you know how that goes. It's just kind of like we had to fix it and do some stuff to it before we could shoot it. Anyway, guys, I love you guys. And I hope y'all are enjoying these videos. These gaming videos I've been putting up, um, are really fun to make. So I enjoy doing them. The gun videos are fun too, but it's a little more work with setting up the camera and everything. We do have a new Sony CyberShot 
that I want to point out um, that we're, I'm using right now. Flip up screens, so I can see myself. We have a new tripod that we're working with. We have three tripods at the house. Lost our big boy. The other two kind of broke. So we're just we're trying to do this as good as we can. We have new recording software. We have new game capture software. So we're really trying to move up in YouTube. But anyway, I want to talk a little bit about the Hollister clone giveaway. We are a week away. And I know I said two weeks earlier this week, but we've decided to go ahead and end it to a week. And so next Friday, I'll be announcing the winners. Um, I'll be just DMing and I won't be announcing them on the channel. I'm not giving names away on the channel or nothing like that, unless they want me to. And give me ideas, guys, on what other giveaways you'd like to see. Now, we'll say this. The next giveaway we do is going to be when I hit 100 subscribers. When I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to get a gift card or something, and I'm going to give it out. So, without further ado, guys, I love you. Stay safe. God bless. I hope you enjoyed this gun review. If you have any questions on this gun, just let me know. I'll be glad to answer them. Now, I got a few more pistols to go over. I got a 22 rifle I'll be doing too as well. Shouting out to my wife's channel, uh, Tiffany Lynn Gray. She put up her first video in over a year the other day. So, guys, please check that out. I think you will really enjoy her content. She has really good stuff. And uh, obviously, while you're here, check out my other stuff as well too, man. Hey, just trying to make it. Love you guys. See you later.